Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Moorfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech 15. Today we're looking at Sway, an online platform for creating interactive and multimedia reports, presentations, newsletters, etc. If you look in the top left corner, the URL is sway.com, that's S-W-A-Y.com. We're going to scroll down here and see some of the great materials that they have to introduce you to Sway. Of course, front and center, there's a link to go ahead and get started if you so wish. Also, under a few ideas to get you started, they have links to examples of a report, which, as you can see, scrolls sideways. Presentations, similar to the standard slideshow. Newsletters, which scrolls vertically. And personal stories. If you scroll further down on the page, you can see some more introductory materials on how to create with Sway and include some real Sways by real people. Back up at the top, if you look in the top right corner, there's a link to tutorials which takes you to a YouTube channel as well as the sign-in. One thing to notice, the sign-in includes just an email address. If you have a Microsoft account, it interfaces with that. So here we are at my account page. These are all example ways that are included when you start your Sway account. A welcome, how to start a Sway, and three examples, some of which we might have seen before. At the top right, we have a link to create new, link to the tutorials again, and some other links. If you look back to the left, you can not only create new Sways, but import files such as Word, PowerPoint, and PDF. For today, we're going to just go ahead and create. And this is what a baby sway looks like. On the left, we have a place to add new materials. In the middle, you can see what those materials are. Preview will show you what it looks like, which right now looks pretty blank. We'll go ahead and add a title. And it automatically updates. If you hit the Remux button, it'll do a random design format, which you can change multiple times. If you also click the design button, you can select one from the options listed. If you go to navigation, that'll allow you to change whether you scroll vertically, horizontally, or similar to a traditional slide. Cards take you back to this view, which includes a click and drag format, as well as clicking on to add different pieces to your page. Last but not least, insert interfaces with a variety of materials online, including your OneDrive, since this links in with your Microsoft account, your OneNote, Facebook, Flickr, Bing, PicHit, YouTube, Twitter, other sources, and of course, uploading your materials. It's simple enough to add in items by even just searching. When you do an image search, it automatically has a setting to include only items tied with Creative Commons license that you can use. And once you find the image you want, you can just click on it and click add. Or if you've already added a placeholder, you can click and drag to the item. As you add items, if you go to preview, you can see exactly what it looks like and edit within the preview. Once you're finished, you click play and it'll show the finished product. Hit pencil button and you're back to edit. You can add authors by an embeddable link as well as share via link, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Yammer, and other options. You can also go back to my sway and access all of your sways as well as being able to share, duplicate, and delete from here. This has been a brief introduction to sway via Tech15. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.